Hello again, it's Gillaries, and today we got the Peculiar Pet Box from Unboxing the Bazaar for January. And then over there we have Yoshi. You gonna come play Yoshi? Misha's coming. Uh, Hi Mish. Misha. Oh, gross! Oh gosh. Muffin. <laughs> Muffin. Okay, so plush chocolate bar cat toy with catnip. So it's a chocolate cat toy. Let's see, Misha wants it. Is she like, I wanna get in that box. Here, you want some chocolate? Hey, smell good? It's like we're not supposed to eat chocolate. Okay, let's see what day that is. Chocolate bar catnip toy, National Bittersweet Chocolate Day. This is a bittersweet day, literally. Don't you just love those that are conflicted with each other? I mean, really, how can someone be both bitter and sweet at the same time? Sweet and salty, I understand, but bitter and sweet at the same time? And even more confusing, chocolate is with, is a vegetable. Or maybe not, but it's a bean. And aren't beans vegetables? When served with almonds, which are good for you as well, then it's a bittersweet chocolate almond bar, a health food? Well, if not for all that sugar, it might be. So maybe that's the bittersweet part of it. Could be healthy, but it's not. It's a good day when bittersweet chocolate is something to celebrate. Suggest a ways to celebrate. Enjoy some bittersweet chocolate. Create a concoction with bittersweet chocolate and other food items like nuts. Make a bittersweet chocolate cake. Okay. Oh no, the babies are getting into cords over there. <laughs> of course, they get into everything. Okay, oops, got Snoop hair on me now. Okay, there's Snoopy. Oh, there you go, Carissa. What is this? Is it a dragon? Oh it's no, a it's dragon. a dragon theme, a yep. Risco Dragon Bouncy Teaser Cat Toy with Catnip. Okay, so let's get the dragon out. So this must be for the dragon day. Okay, oh that's cute. You wanna get that newbie? <laughs> Go. I don't know. <laughs> Misha I hear here. her. I know Emily's behind the door. <laughs> hey Emily, come get the thing. <laughs> we could jump behind the door. I am. Come get the toy. Oh, there's Mish. Hey Mish. Look. There's, she's coming. There she go. Oh, she almost jumped up and then took it away. Here. <laughs> there she goes. <laughs> oh. There she is. She's like, it's almost a wand toy. Yeah. Or like wand toys. <laughs> it's the more dangerous kind of wand toy because yep. you're closer to the toy. Toy, yep. And that means closer to the claws of doom. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, I guess I might as well read about the Yeah, today. get the paper. Which we did in the other books. So, National Appreciate a Dragon Day. She's appreciating the dragon, I think. Yep, kind of. She's <laughs> beating it up. <laughs> Bouncy Dragon Teaser Crinkled Catnip Toy. January 16th. Today was created by Donita K. Paul in 2004 because she felt we do not appreciate our dragons enough. I agree, we don't. Our dragons go for God, and if we aren't careful, they may soon disappear. Just ask Puff. Whether they are your hero or your or your villain, I almost said vanilla. <laughs> they have been with us since time began. Vanilla. Even though most of us have never seen a real one, we tend to believe that they did exist. Boys using them to rescue damsels in distress and girls as powerful pets they can control. Appreciate your dragon before they completely dis completely vanish. So just a ways to celebrate. How many dragons from stories can you name? Buy a dragon and hide it in the house for others to find. Say goodnight to your dragon every night. <laughs> Good night, dragon. The night dragon. <laughs> okay. Then looks like we have a blankie. Pocket blankie. Snoopies! Snoopies! So it's a fluffy paw print blankie. 
Dunk. Oh, oh no, where'd you go? Where'd I, I go? can't see you. Thank you, me. <laughs> <laughs> you start cracking up like a baby. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. Paw throw, fur parent goodie. What? The cat's gonna lay on that. Now here's a day most of us could look forward to. Most of us, we never get enough sleep. So today's the day to play catch up. The rush of the holiday is over, though the holidays themselves are not. And we're gonna sit down and relax, celebrating that we've made it through another season. We actually need one of those days every week or maybe every two weeks. So how much sleep is enough sleep? Eight hours a night, six hours a night, 10 hours a night. It's a different for each of us. So how much sleep you need to catch up on depends on your routine. Actually, that doesn't work. So enjoy your day sleeping. And if you wake up before January 4th, just go back to bed. Suggested ways to celebrate sleep. So festival of sleep day, January 3rd. Okay. There's one thing left in there. I'm gonna put the blankie out for the kids to enjoy. Okay. Hey, you little fluff fluff. Oh no, little fluff fluff. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. So then we got one more thing. Yeah. Smart, smarty cat electronic motion toy. You can't use it. Feather whirl, erratically spinning toy drives cats wild. They'll probably break it. Toy wobbles, but they're spin. Mm, doesn't need batteries or exercise, satisfies hunting instinct, spinning motion toy, satisfaction guarantee. Well, get it out and let's see what happens. Oh, you know what? They've had something similar, didn't they? And they broke it. They broke the wand piece and part of it was still stuck in the toy. <laughs> There's also that thing. <laughs> yeah. Way to take this thing off. They kept grabbing it and getting it around their neck. Sometimes we have to make the <laughs> toys better. <laughs> Safer for the kitties. Our cats are very risky when they're playing. Yep. They don't care about safety. And that's because they're cats. <laughs> they're unaware that they're doing something unsafe. Just unsafe. You have to, you have to keep them <laughs> you have to keep them from hurting themselves. There's the feather. Okay. Here's the ball. That may or may not have batteries in it. Oh no, I wonder if it does or not. No batteries, oh, okay. We can put batteries, what kind does it need? Does it need a screwdriver? Yeah, it needs a screwdriver. Oh darn. Okay, um... Two double A. Okay, you go ahead and put the camera at the cat's way. Get the, or read the description. Oh wait, yeah, I got this. That's right. Um... um yeah, how are we going to do that? Because I got to go get the batteries. Okay, read the description and then I'll hand you the camera to take pictures of the cat's wire. Run and get the batteries. Okay, so this is National Bird Day Electronic Feather Toy. January 5th. There are a number of bird days throughout the year, but I believe this is the first one of the year. If you are a bird lover, you'll love today. Of course, if you live in the more northern states, you may have to wait a while to see one, but here in the south they abound. From some of the most regal, as in the eagle, to some of the tiniest, as the hummingbird, birds wake us in the morning with their songs, making it a good start to the day. Whether you are a bird lover or not, it's easy to admire their grace and beauty. So spend a little time today looking up and spotting the birds around you and imagine what it must be like to soar above looking down on us all. So just a ways to celebrate. There's a baby behind me. So just a ways to celebrate. Become a bird watcher. List as many birds as you can name. Get a bird feeder. Somebody's gonna need it on their next job. Wipe down that wall behind there. Oh no. <laughs> okay, go ahead and take that. I'm just gonna, it was AA, right? Yeah, two double A's. Okay, right back. Hi, kitties. Hi, babies. I see you. Kitties. <laughs> yeah, it's 
Kitty playtime. A lot of my life. After we find the screwdriver, let's get this thing opened. BB's not you what to think of this. Mm -hmm. I wonder if they're gonna be scared of it. Oh, probably. <laughs> Until Oliver or Mama Cat destroys it. it yep. Yeah. Oh, the sun moved till now it's in your face again. <laughs> I know. Okay, let's see if I can actually get this out of here. The screw does not want to come out. Maybe it doesn't come out, maybe it just lifts off. Nope. Okay. Here's Mimi! Hey, Mimi! Oh, I got as far as I can go. There you go. Okay. Hey, Mimi! Okay, get this thing working. Yeah! Hi, Mimi, Do you want to play with this toy? She mammy. Oh, she just left. She's like, nope. Nope, 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 nope. After the camera, I'll play with the toy. Yeah, she'll wait until we're she'll done. She'll wait until the camera's off, yep. Emily's having herself a little meal over there. <laughs> Oops, did I get that all the way? I don't think I got that all the way down. <laughs> It's starting to move a little bit, but maybe I don't got the lid because I don't have the lid all the way on. Oh no. <laughs> this is a pain. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to oh. demonstrate the toy. Well, Yoshi just made a cute noise over there. Yep. Aww. Yoshi! Please, please. This thing is just not right. It's just hard to even get on. To get back onto the thing. It was hard to get off. It's hard, hard to, get to get on. It doesn't want to get back all the way on. It's vibrating. Thoroughly read instruction sheet before use. Oops, well. Oh, yeah. This is so hard to put on. This is like a mess. It's one side goes in and the other side goes in. It doesn't really fit on right. And then this thing doesn't isn't working right. I heard it moves. Yeah, it's going slowly. I guess I'll just leave it like that for it. There you go. Even though it's supposed to have the bottom on the balance. And also to prevent the batteries from being for torn out. out. Yeah. But the battery case does not, the, the screw gets in the way and the screw doesn't want to come all the way out. <laughs> Mama's like, mm. hold on you nasty, look. He doesn't see it because it's above his head. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Ooh, he didn't like that. Okay, so if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and for more unboxings, please subscribe to our channel and we'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye.